Alright, so I went inside a bunch of double-decker buses. Clearly these are meant for intercity service rather than commuter or regional lines. The seats are nice but getting around inside is a bit tight. And the ceiling is really low. I do not recall Toronto school bus having ceilings this low. But seriously, as I mentioned in the last video, we need to run double-decker buses in crowded regional bus lines, like Toronto. Imagine double-decker Royal Trans buses, considering many older lines are at or near capacity, and the fact that Royal Trans buses have really tight legroom. Transjakarta should probably also get more high floor buses. Once they do that, I got the route suggestion, the 3K connecting Pick with Corridor 3 via the highway, and then following the 3E all the way to Puri Indah. Pik is a major tourist destination, Puri has lots of offices and two very big malls. Those two areas and everything in between has lots of houses, probably a good idea to connect all of it with a single bus line. Also Depok recently got its first proper bus line, but you know who else also needs these buses? Kading Serpong. Sumarekon and Paramal should probably get like 20 of these and start running all day service from Gading Serpong to Intermoda Chisau. They should also connect every single housing cluster to Mall SMS with at the very least hourly service. Technically Sumarekon already does this but they really need to split this spaghetti of a line into 2 to 4 different lines. Now when it comes to Angkot, Spogo recently got them, more cities and developers should get them. In fact, I know a line that could greatly benefit from getting more of these minibuses, the Traka shuttle bus between Alogyo and Uemen. First get 3 to 4 of these minibuses, then extend this line to SMS and start hotel so that they can transfer to the S11. Run it every 15 minutes, every day, and congratulations, S tier transit. Also, they really need to start selling this car. As of making this video, this car is not in Nissan Indonesia's website. I asked the person and they don't even have a brochure for this car. And I think K-cars have great potential in the greater Jakarta area, judging by how many wooling air EVs have flooded the streets here. I also have a thing for boxy cars and with the Suzuki Karimun Wagon R no longer being sold, the wooling air EV being too small and the wooling bingo being too round, I think there's a market for this car. 